Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Friday, which means another crypto interest rates and news update. Today is the 29th of October, 2021. And it's just gonna be a pretty brief update today. A couple of stories to uh, cover, but I'm a little bit pushed for time. So it'll be a bit of a shorter update than usual. So let's crack uh, straight on and talk about any um, new coins or rate changes. And we've got no new coins to report this week. Uh, we have had some uh, rate changes uh, Celsius here. I noticed that the Matic rate was out of date. That's dropped uh, substantially from where it was when it was um, uh, launched or where it was a few weeks ago. So that's a little bit disappointing, um, but that's dropped down by two or three percent. Uh, the Swiss Borg rates have been uh, fairly static. I update these every week because this is an average over the last 30 days. Uh, Bitcoin's down a bit, Ethereum's up a bit, and some of the stable coins are up a little bit. Um, but the big news, and we'll cover that in a minute, um, is uh, some rate increases for BlockFi. Now, not currently live, but will be live at the beginning of November. So BlockFi and Ledin uh, both announced uh, both announced monthly um, rate changes. Um, so they do it on a monthly basis. Celsius do it on more on ad hoc basis. But I'll be interested to see whether uh, Ledin and, and or um, Celsius potentially um, will adjust their stablecoin rates in uh, response to BlockFi increasing their rates. And we'll talk about that again in a minute. And then uh, moving on to the token prices. So starting with uh, Bitcoin, it's been um, quite a turbulent week. Um, some quite big swings up and down. You can see this from the kind of graph here. I think we've topped out about 67,000 and yesterday I think we wicked down to about 57 and a half thousand. So uh, a big swing uh, up and down during the week, but we've actually ended up um, relatively kind of flat down 2.4%, but not a, a huge kind of decrease um, uh, considering the massive swings up and down. We've seen this last week. Now uh, Celsius has had a poor week down 8.1%. Yield apps had a, a really bad week down 15.6%, down 8% almost today. So that's been a really bad week. Uh, Swiss ball pretty much flat on the week. Uh, Crypto.com's up 15%, but the standout performer here, uh, Nexo, I mean, um, disappointing obviously for Crypto.com, they're up 15%, and uh, I'm talking about uh, Nexo, but Nexo up almost 34% over the last week. Uh, they're currently sitting just over $3 a coin. I actually um, sold off my next, I think it was yesterday or the day before, for about $2.95, $2.96. So uh, I don't know whether that in the long term will be a good idea or not, but it seemed to um, have spiked up a huge kind of amount. So I thought I'm going to take some profits on some of those Nexo tokens. Um, so I did that a couple of days ago. We'll see if it continues to trend up or whether it kind of stabilizes uh, from here. But really good week for Nexo. Uh, those of you who are holding Nexo tokens and want to take some profit, possibly a good time not. Obviously, a financial advice. And then moving on to the um, the stories this week. So we'll start with um, BlockFi. So they are increasing their stablecoin rates. If we scroll down here, uh, basically uh, the former rates uh, 8.25. So this is up to $40,000. So this is every coin apart from Tether. Tether's actually going up a little bit more than them, but they're going from eight and a quarter to 9% uh, for all the other stable coins. So that's Gemini, Dollar, uh, US. Uh, USDC, uh, Paxos Standard, um, DAI, uh, Binance, USD, uh, and then Tether is actually going up to 9.5%. So that's going up more than the rest of them. Over and above 40,000, it's going from 7 to 8%. And this is 40,000 on each different stable coin. Um, and I believe that the stable coins are, um, you can swap in app as a, at a one for one kind of ratio. So um, if you did want to uh, hold more, potentially you had, for example, more than uh, 40,000 USDC, you could swap uh, some for Gemini dollar, for example, or Paxos or something like that uh, to maximize the kind of rates and then move them back in when you wanted to withdraw. But uh, Tether will be a slightly higher rate up to nine and a half and the rest of the stable coins up to nine percent now this is um uh, in line with uh, what Ledin are offering now. Um, Ledin, I don't think have any tiers for stable coins, are certainly not announced uh, yet as far as I remember. Um, but yeah, uh, in line now with um, Ledin and a fraction now higher than Celsius. So it'll be interesting to see whether Ledin and Celsius respond to the, these rates. But uh, really nice after some disappointing kind of rate decreases over the last few months to see that uh, at least the stable coin rates are increasing a little bit in BlockFi. Um, I will post below if we get a Ledin update. Have received it uh, for the beginning of November. I imagine that will be out later today, but I just missed the cutoff for this video, but I'll pop a comment below uh, pinned to the top if we get those rates uh, in the next few hours. And then moving on to some other stories. So uh, Hoddlenaut, first of all, they have launched uh, their Android app. So this is uh, nice to see. I'm an Android user myself. 
um, and there wasn't an app before. Now, I far prefer the desktop versions of most of these kind of platforms, um, but nice for a lot of people that they uh, ha now do have an Android app, and it's um, pretty nice. It's pretty um, slick, looks pretty straightforward. Um, there is information about it here. These uh, articles are all linked in the uh, description below you can download it um, or just search for hodl naught uh, obviously be wary um, I didn't see any dodgy versions but often when these um, uh, legitimate versions or apps come out then um, you know dodgy people can upload uh, ones that you know look very very similar in, in order to try and kind of like you know kind of like scam you so uh, be careful always if you can follow a link from the official site you can click uh, one of these links here download on the Play Store and if you want some more information about uh, how to use the app there is another page here again I'll be linked in the description below about basically how um, the system kind of works it's got some screenshots and stuff like that uh, but it's quite nice um, it's a you know it's quite a, a simple kind of app but it's nice to be able to be um, be able to just sort of like check on things on your kind of phone and it supports as well um, you know fingerprint login and all that kind of stuff as well so nice to see them uh, launch those um, uh, moving on from that, we have a crypto.com story. So um, Shiba Inu, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the massive price increase up, what is it, 200% over the last kind of seven days, going up to sort of like 30, 40% a day, some kind of days, absolute kind of like crazy kind of pump for a pure meme coin. It, it, it um, switched positions over to Dogecoin, I think a couple of days ago, I think it might've slipped back uh, below it, but uh, uh, yeah, really kind of crazy increases for Shiba Inu. And I think we're seeing basically crypto.com jump on the back, uh, on the bandwagon of that so they are doing a, a competition a, a, a contest basically where if you uh, either buy sell or trade um, any Shiba Inu through the app so I think there's a minimum of a hundred dollars worth of um, Shiba Inu so you can trade uh, buy or sell at least a hundred dollars worth uh, during the campaign period and you will be entered into this kind of like um, lucky kind of like dip so there's a 500 uh, winners and you will receive $40 worth of Shiba Inu. Um, they're also giving away these NFTs. It's called Shiboshi, which is this, these NFTs. So uh, five of them of this particular contest will receive the NFT of their choice. And then if we scroll down, there's a second part of this where basically the top traders, so the people with the most volume, um, top 500 traders will uh, get these um, prizes here. So $1,500 and one Shiboshi. So the top uh, four there will also be getting an NFT, the rest of them just uh, dollar amounts of uh, Shiba Inu. So if you are training a lot, uh, you might want to consider doing it on crypto.com and participating in this contest. Now, uh, that's where unfortunately this video ends. As I said, I'm a little bit pushed for time and just about to rush out. So I'm just going to get this uploaded uh, quickly. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, I'm considering doing some live streams. Um, I might even do this kind of update as a live stream. I can then, you know, record it and upload it if you uh, miss it but if you uh, would be interested in a live stream uh, let me know kind of like what time of the day would be good for you I'm based in the UK but uh, uh, most parts um, you know most times of the kind of like day or evening are good for me so if you would be interested in that uh, maybe we'll cover uh, some of these kind of platforms in more detail I can answer any questions that you might have so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments below uh, but thanks very much for watching as always give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic um, hope you're all keeping safe and well look after yourselves hopefully I'll see you on the next video but until then have a great day bye bye